I think there are many stereotypes out there that are somewhat unfair. This is where we talk about things being skewed in the favor of one group or the other. If a man is authoritative or bossy, actually, if a man is bossy, in many uh, cases, he's described as authoritative. Like, he takes charge in a positive way. He's a leader. But if a woman uh, does the same thing, she's bossy, she's aggressive, etc. And uh, there's this, I think it's Mark Muffin's uh, cartoon, where there was a comment around, she's not bossy, she's the boss. You know? That sort of thing. Um, courage and boldness are very important. Um, there's research that shows that women tend to undersell themselves. If a woman has 70% of the skills required for a job, She'll, she's likely to focus on the 30% that she doesn't have and feel daunted by that and maybe shy away from the responsibility. If a man going for the same job has 60% of what is required, he'll put himself forward as having 80% and he'll go for it and speak with authority. So we tend to undersell ourselves quite often as women. And, and so the invitation is to be bold and First and foremost, be very clear about what we want our lives to be about. Each and every one of us has a choice to make. But am I going to be invisible? Just go with the flow, you know, just do my own thing, keep my head in my little corner, and so on and so forth. Uh, maybe I'm unfulfilled, maybe I'm dissatisfied, but I don't feel like I have a choice, and I'll just live like that way. Or am I actually going to be the captain of the ship of my life? and decide I deserve to achieve my dream. I deserve to actually have a life that I love. You know, I deserve to live my purpose. And you know, it's when we get together in forums like this, we get inspired. And sometimes going back, you know, by the next day you're back to the normal team, the normal mind, everything. My invitation. Yes, exactly. Like that. You go to the conference, you're fired, you're fired up. up. The change has come. The change is now. And you wake up tomorrow when you're dead. And that's what I'm coming to. The invitation is spare a thought specifically for how is this going to affect my life? Is this going to be the thing that happens to me? Is this going to be the thing that happens to me? Where do I have a situation? Maybe I have a business I'm struggling with. And I listen to the boy boy name. He compared to me. How is that? What can I do with this? You know, to so just really think from everything I've heard, what is my own decision about what I want my life to be about? Because we can learn from people, we can be inspired, but you have to chart the course. You have to decide what your life is going to be about. And that requires clarity of purpose. It also requires courage. Courage to stand and in your own, stand and be centered. Stand in your own integrity, in your own power, as a woman, <laughs> and believing that I, I, I have what it takes and I deserve this. Following that, then putting together a solid plan, because a vision without a plan is like wishful thinking. So that would be the invitation in terms of taking what we've learned here today to the next level and the next step. Coming back to courage. Uh, when we talk about, you know, live like a woman, winning in a man's world, etc. Something that comes to mind is, live like a woman, succeed like a man. You didn't hear that. Live like a woman, succeed like a man. That doesn't mean that men have a stronger appetite for success than we do. What that means is, quite often, men are a lot more aggressive about advocating for their own success. If we think about financial success, for example, with the same level of qualification, men are more likely to negotiate a higher salary for a job than women. This is backed by research. It's a fact. But having that courage to say, you know what, I'm qualified. I bring all of this to the table and I deserve a decent paycheck. And that 30%, so maybe I have 70% of what it takes, and the 30%, I can learn. I can get people to, to, to learn from. Today, with a smartphone, you have access to the world's information at your fingertips. There's hardly anything, there's nothing new under the sun. There's hardly anything you want to learn that you can't find online. Maybe there's a video on YouTube. 
maybe there's a webinar, maybe there's a tutorial, an article, a white paper. There's so much information out there. You just need to yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you see, she, I can see what she's doing. You just need to Google. 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 All right. So let's But there's so much information out there to be able to uh, make up for whatever gaps we have. Um, and so we just need to exhibit that career and succeed like that. Your final words, Patricia. Yeah, I think Julia has said a lot about it. I, I would say, um, yeah, my son is generally not very aggressive, and I think it's very important to learn your own unique abilities and qualities and operate from there. Don't try to be like the next person. I know suddenly a woman trying to succeed in the past, but you don't have to act like a man. You don't have to be as loud as, I mean, not always that loud, but you know what I mean. You, you don't have to act like a man. You don't necessarily have to go out for drinks with them or do anything. I think you need to be comfortable in your own skin, know your own strengths, and work within your strengths. If you're always going to be, you're the best that's going to be the best to you. Nobody else. And the last words. Absolutely. Um, constantly learn. Nothing stays the same. If you want to be, you have to continue, continuously, all the time, constantly. Upgrade yourself, learn your skills, um, increase your knowledge base, do something new, do something hard. Nothing's going to stay the same. When I started working and then the fashion hour we worked, we used overhead projectors and transparencies to make presentations. That's no PowerPoint. Constantly upgrade, update your skills, do something new, know what's going on in your own area. Improve on other, learn about other things because the world must be great. If you're going to be, you're going to have to be relevant at whatever point that leadership thing comes up. And always go for your opportunities. And I'm not talking about opportunities for a higher salary, money, and position of your company. But look for opportunities to show your own strengths. Sometimes you may have to take on a job with no promotion, no pay, or any leeway to be made for your previous one. Learn a new skill and make sure you demonstrate it and everything else can go on. Those things are your control. We have far more power than we think. I was going to say thank you. That's very quick because uh, I think it's very important to clarify that. You made a very good point. When we talk about leading a like, woman, it's really down to leading with authenticity. Mm -hmm. Being true to who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's applicable to men just like women. But men have a different leadership style. They have certain preferences. They deal with situations in a different way. And women in a different way. The, the invitation is really to know who you are. Go with your guts. Follow your instincts. Your intuition. And bring all of who you are into whatever situation you find yourself, including leadership. It's really about leading with authenticity. Let's put your hands together for the